We don't often do very short videos on this channel, but here's just one. Connecting coax cable to ladder line. Might be G5RV, might be a doublet. How do you do it? Well, let me show you one way. You know, sometimes there's a need to connect coax cable to ladder line. For example, G5RV. You have G5RV and you want to connect coax cable at the bottom of the ladder line. Now, I know you can use a uh, ballon, but sometimes you don't want to use a ballon. I prefer to have a line isolator at that point, so I want to connect a bit of coax cable to the end of ladder line. You may alternatively have a length of ladder line that feeds a doublet. And for whatever reason, you want to connect a coax cable to that as you feed it through the wall. And again, you may want to use a line isolator, the rather a button. What's the advantage of using a line isolator? Well, one of the advantages is that it's simple and it's very easy to handle high power because all you're worried about is what's flowing on the outer sheathing of the coax. Anyway, that's subject for another video. How do we connect coax cable to the end of ladder line? Well, let me show you. This is a product that we sell and it may solve a problem for you. The product is known as 09-165. It was designed originally for 300 ohm ribbon, but you can make it work okay for 450 ohm ladder line. And as you can see, it's a black plastic tube. One end we've got an SO239 and the other end is where we attach the ladder line. The ladder line end has a small cover which is held in by a single screw. And if we remove that, you can see that we've got a pair of terminals to attach the ladder line. You need to trim the inner section of the ladder line back a bit to make the legs a bit longer and then bear the ends ready to attach to those terminals. I haven't made the neatest job there. Normally I, I use a pair of scissors to cut the inner insulation away. It gives a much neater um, finish to it. But anyway, I think you get the idea. Now there are other ways of connecting coax to ladder line, but this is a, quite a neat way and it might solve a problem for you. So there we are. Thanks for watching this very short video. Hope it's been helpful. You take care. And as usual, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.